Wizzo. Wizzo. Captain Wizzo. Wizzo, 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 Wizzo. Captain Wizzo, Wizzo, Wizzo. Captain Wizzo. Wizzo, Wizzo. Captain Wizzo. But I also want to say something about Captain Wizzo. Okay, Captain Wizzo used to live in the, the house that was right next to the chateau. He was a fantastic guy. He used to get these two like kind of dishes, glass dishes, and you, maybe you already know the story, but he would mix oils and waters and watercolors and put them through a projector screen so they would play, uh, the screen would project itself on a white screen on behind the band and it was this weird psychedelic trippy thing and he used to do it every night and he used to let us go up there sometimes and kind of play around a little bit do some of the stuff maybe it was because he had to go pee or maybe it was because he wanted to go have another drink uh, actually it's probably not it because he probably had plenty of booze up there so uh, all I want to say is Captain Wizzo was fantastic he was really friendly all the time Captain Wizzo was just work, you know closing up the place and doing his thing and uh, he says, you guys look awful weird. So he had Charlie Chaplin movies and all these old time funny flicks that he got at the library. And so we just stayed up all night, loaded on acid, watching the movie. Another thing about the Chateau was it was always Captain Wizzo lights. And he had an unusual way of doing lights. I guess it's what the Fillmore did too, like the uh, liquid light displays. But there wasn't spotlights and gels and stage lighting where you couldn't really f focus on who was playing what. It was just a, a general wash of kind of a psychedelic vibe. I think he lived there, he, but he also worked at the, at the uh, Town and Country Lodge, I believe, sometimes too. So he did some other shows. He was around Santa Cruz. He was a character. He had a beard, big hair, little glasses like John Lennon. Um, he was a sharp dude. I remember talking to him a few times. He was cool. soul man he uh very artistic guy uh he did great light shows he was he was fun to be around he he, he was a good dude man Wizzo was a good dude really good dude uh he rent he rented this uh house next to the chateau it was open anytime you wanted to go and kick back and relax you know well come on in man you know and and, and he was he's just down home guy man you know, he knew a lot of musicians. He, he helped us book some bands, you know, and uh, he was cool. Michael J. Elzey, otherwise known as Captain Wizzo, was a son of the Midwest and a great American artist who produced published works from the 1960s to the 1990s. Wizzo was a brilliant illustrator and satirist, but his true claim to fame was his innovation of the psychedelic liquid light show for rock concerts. As a light show artist, Captain Wizzo performed with countless major bands and toured internationally. He was well known in San Francisco and New York, but in the Santa Cruz Mountains, he was a living legend. Captain Wizzo and his light show showed up at the Chateau Liberté in 1970. He had already created his name and artistic techniques while working in New York City for a few years. Wizzo spent many years living at the Chateau Liberté, where he was universally adored by all. He was a central figure in the Chateau community, where he filled many roles. Captain Wizzo was a joker, an impresario, a leader, a bon vivant, a father figure, a freak, a seer of visions, a spiritual guide, and a good friend to so many. I used to go up there on the platform and party with him a lot. You know, he'd go, oh, try this, try that. And he, he'd always have slideshows and all this weird shit going down, you know. Real mellow, real mellow. His little specs, man, he was, you know. And he was funny. He always, always looked the same. Same hat, same, almost same shirt, just about, you know. And uh, he'd always have stuff in his pockets. He'd have a flashlight, he'd have this and he'd have that, and then, oh, you need a magnifying glass, you need this, you need that. Well, I got one of those, I got one of those. And, and his humor was 
like slapstick, dry sense of humor. You just... He was a real friendly guy, man. He was just a cool... He was a really cool dude. Uh, he had one of the most amazing liquid light shows. He was one of the best performers of that. I went to the Fillmore. I went to the Avalon. Wizzo was just as good, if not better, in that small scene. Hey, uh, Orange juice. This is Captain Wizzo. Yeah. After 10 years at the Chateau and some quiet years in New Mexico, Wizzo returned to New York City in 1985. He was determined to keep his brand of art relevant to the city hipsters. Wizzo became a creative force in the New York City club scene. He performed at the Mind's Eye, a psychedelic club that moved around the city for several years. That's where he was discovered by Stephen Hager, editor of High Times magazine. Wizzo became a major creative contributor to High Times. Hager remembers how Wizzo popped up at the office one day to show some of his drawings. He says the art staff was knocked out by Wizzo's sardonic humor and graceful penmanship. He was great to hang out with. He was always drawing. You know, he had his own comics and things, and and uh, we were always knocked out by them. Uh, he had lived one time in, in the actual basement of the chateau, and one of the stories of the chateau that I've heard is the murder that happened there back when it was a speakeasy. And Wizzo was living in the basement, and the ghost actually is the guy who owned it who was putting his money into the safe, and his own son came behind him and shot him in the back of the head and took the money and disappeared. But Dad's ghost was in the chateau and would sometimes prowl. And a lot of people that lived there saw him sometimes walking through that sort of walkway from the bar around the left, you know, into the concert place or down in the basement. And Wizzo claimed to have seen it a number of times in the basement. I'm going to show you my bargain now. That's a big organ, that. <laughs> Go Captain Wizzo. Red and white, blue suede shoes. I'm Uncle Sam. When he wasn't performing light shows, Wizzo continued to create whimsical cartoons and comics for high times. Wizzo's art reflects his silly sense of humor as well as a keen understanding of pop culture and the politics of the day. The works of Captain Wizzo have been compared to those of his more famous contemporaries, Robert Crumb, Gary Larson, and Ralph Steadman. Check my pulse. It don't change. Stay 72. Come shine on rain. Wave the flag. Wizzo launched a line of Christmas cards called Wizzograms. These hand-drawn cards were popular in New York and promoted by High Times Magazine. People said that the only thing cooler than getting a Wizzogram was giving one. The popularity of Wizzograms didn't surprise anyone who knew Wizzo. I'm
wife Steal your wife As Frank Andrick said, Captain Wizzo always seemed to be sketching or doodling. Many of his works are unceremoniously scribbled on the backs of show posters and crumpled bits of paper, even paper plates. Thanks to the LZ family of Lawrence, Kansas, and Wizzo's godson, Gil Rich, these works have been archived and preserved for posterity. Back to back, chicken check, son of a gun. Better change your act We're all confused What's to lose? You can call this song The United States Blues Way back In the early 1990s, the music scene in Manchester, England was exploding with new bands like the Stone Roses and the Charlatans that embraced the pop music of the 1960s and its psychedelic sound. These young rockers were amazed to find out that Captain Wizzo was still performing old school liquid light shows in New York City. Wizzo performed with D-Light and Jane's Addiction, but the music of the so-called Madchester movement was really a natural fit for the Wizzo light show. So Wizzo brought his light show to the world, touring with the Charlatans and performing with other Madchester bands, including the Happy Mondays. So by 1992, people in Europe and Japan had seen a live Wizzo light show, just as many of the people interviewed in this film saw them at the Chateau Liberté 20 years before. But more people would know Captain Wizzo for his illustrations and high times, his Wizzogram cards, and a number of published articles showcasing the man and his works. Wizzo continued his touring and performing, still managing to find some time for sketching. But the fast life was catching up with him. His career ended as he began to develop health problems in his early 40s. Captain Wizzo's lights went out for good on April Fool's Day in 1993. Always the Joker, right to the very end. <laughs> 